Excellencies, distinguished guests, I am happy to be here today as an indigenous woman that consider forest and land as home, not as commodities. And I am very glad that this climate negotiation have started to consider that nature and forest have a key role to play in the meeting the objective of the Paris Agreement. It took you 25 cops to understand that indigenous peoples have known forever our planet is alive. Soil are her skin, forests are her hair, rivers are her blood, and today the earth is sick, probably dying. Today, at this special event, indigenous peoples bring something special to the table, our solution. Some government and company, including in this room, are responsible for the deforestation and land stealing in many areas. And while some are experts on deforestation, we, indigenous peoples, have a PhD in reforestation and sustainable management of land. Even we represent only 5% of the world's population. We protect 80% of the remaining biodiversity. We repair the forest, even when climate causes dramatic forest fire. In the Sahel, my people are the best architects of the great green world that avoid desertification and restore land degradation. We do this as a duty, not as a job, because we must protect the forest and land that give us all what we want, food, medicine, knowledge, and so on. We use our indigenous people's traditional knowledge as a tool to protect nature. We don't stand in front of you as a victim, no. Today, we stand as climate champion. Indigenous peoples are already have a neutral way of living in this planet. So, I come to this leaders' event on forest and land with a very simple message. We have the map. We know where we are going, and we know how to drive. So give us the key. First, we celebrate the announcement of the dedicated initial 1.7 billion US dollars to implement indigenous-led solution. Yes, help is coming, and we celebrate the beginning of this process of ground action. Congratulations. Paris committed, and Glasgow is delivering. Second, support us also by ensuring the full respect of our rights to land, territories, and resources. This is true for government, but also for companies. There is no value in making beautiful speech here about deforestation if at home you let the private sector steal indigenous people's land or destroy the ecosystem. Finally, it is great to see world leaders, as just to hear here, committed to protect forests and land. But you will not be able to do this in the offices. We as the guardian of the forest are the best, we are also the best bankers to manage this amazing investment. And to do so, we need to work together as a partners, not as beneficiaries. And we all know partners work together and sit together to take the decision. Excellencies, in 10 days, I will go back home and nothing will change yet. So the next months will be critical 
to implement the commitment that have been made today. And in one year, we will meet again on my country or in another countries in Africa because I belong to all those land. On one year, in the next COP, but you all know one year is not enough for a tree to grow, but it is enough time for trust to die. And trust is not like forest. When gone, it's never come back. So let us celebrate and let's implement all together. Thank you.